Hi guys, Gunchin Pit, and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Um, we're currently working through the Companions quest line, um, and we've just been given a new mission called Striking at the Heart, where we have to go and assassinate a Silver Hand leader. Now, this is normally in a random place, um, and at this time, it's turning up at uh, Voltheim Keep, which, um, if you remember from the, the early parts of this playthrough, actually caused me quite a lot of problems. Um, here it is. Uh, the good thing is though it kind of ties in because we do actually have a treasure map as well um, that we've been carrying around for quite a while and I'll just show that treasure map number two and if you check it out it's actually located on the way to Valheim Keep so the plan for this episode is uh, we're going to leave Whiterun obviously and um, we're going to get to Valheim Keep uh, hopefully we'll have time to to kill the bandit leader as well and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes so that's basically the plan for the episode. Hopefully, it's gonna we're gonna have a bit of action as well, because you never know with Skyrim. Uh, wandering around can be uh, quite easy, or it can be quite dangerous. So um, we'll see how we go. <clears throat> the good thing is, as well, is as we're we're just kind of wandering around. Um, it's a good time to do a catch up. All the Kajik trading caravans there. That's good. Um, so yeah, basically, um, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with how my channel's going. Uh, considering, to be honest, I've only really had two games on here, uh, Borderlands and Skyrim. You guys seem to have really liked it. Um, and actually, be quite curious to find out what kind of games you'd like me to cover, as well. Because um, obviously, Borderlands, I've kind of parked for now, um, just for a couple of weeks, just because you know, time-wise, I, I don't have enough time. Right now, I'm still in a new job. I'm still trying to find the ropes. Um, and also, you know, my brother's moving out. He's got his own place now. And he's going to have a kid in January time. So, obviously, I've been helping him uh, get that organised, which is taking up quite a lot of time as well. Um, <clears throat> and, yeah, basically, you know, um, I come home, my brain's mashed because there's quite a lot of stuff to take in. Uh, I'm basically learning a new computer programme called SharePoint. And I'm not really... A super techie guy anyway uh, I mean I kind of know how to use computers um, but I'm not like an expert so it's taking me quite a lot of time so you know I get home and I just I just don't have any interest in even picking up a controller you know I just want to chill out on my bed maybe watch a couple of YouTube videos and that's it um, but the result of that is that obviously I'm not getting as many videos done as I used to um, so Hopefully we can, I can get back into the swing of things soon and it won't be as bad and I can you know, crank out more videos. But for now guys, um, I like I say, uh, Borderlands, the DLCs, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just leave on that for a moment. Because I'm also testing a couple of new series ideas. But what I'd really like to know is what kind of go games uh, you guys would like me to play. I mean, I've got Borderlands 2 and that's, that's waiting in the wings as well to be played. Uh, I've got a couple of other... Uh -oh. Is that dragon coming over here? Or is he just flying around menacing? It's that same one. That revered dragon, I think. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, let me know. Because I've got the Dead Space games as well. Uh, I've got Fable. I was kind of maybe thinking of doing a playthrough of Fable 2 and uh, Fable 3. Because I have both of those as well. And as you know, I kind of love open world games. Um, the problem is, I don't like to do blind Let's Plays, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, I like to at least complete the game on my own first off camera, just to learn a bit about it, and then, you know, um, I can play it recording. And obviously, the videos are a bit more interesting. It's not so much kind of randomly wandering around. Who are these guys? Okay, that's my the liar. This guy goes on about wanting a death. I'll take that as well. What the hell? But I'm not really too bothered about this right now. I mean, that guy's always there. He asks you to give him a death. You can fight him, kill him, and uh, just that's it, basically. It's not really too exciting. Now, up there is um, White River Watch, which is a great source of imp stool. Um, so we'll probably have to hit that up at some point because I'm running a low of imp stool. And imp stool, as you know, I use with Swamp Fungal Pod to make... Um, oh, crap. To make paralysis poisons. Oh, okay. So it's starting to hit things again. Excellent. So my archery is improving. As you know, we reset archery um, to legendary. So that took it down to 15. I think at the moment it's around the 39 
mark, I think. I can't remember. Hold on. I'll just check. Um, actually, actually, where are you at? <clears throat> oh, it's at 50, so I'm not doing too badly. Actually, it's at 50. Excellent. Can I do anything? Or do I have to wait till 60 now? Yeah, it's 60. All right, fair enough. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Let me know what games you'd like me to play. I mean, even suggest them, and if it's cheap enough, you know, I'll, I'll go and see if I can find a copy. Because now I'm back in the UK, I obviously have access to game game stores, which are really a great source of uh, cheap games, especially my one in Stockport. Um, it's actually got a three for two offer at the moment. So I was actually tempted to just pick up all the uh, Assassin's Creed games for like I think it worked out about. 25 quid something like that uh, for all three of them so that might be again another thing on the cards but for now all i'm going to do i'm just going to concentrate on skyrim we're going to be obviously skipping the all day uh, the daily releases and um, so i'll be only releasing one a day at the moment um just until i can get a couple of um games recorded and stored um so i hope you don't mind that too much and uh, they'll be coming out around uh 2 30 in the afternoon GMT time um, so yeah that's basically it just for a while just until I can build up enough videos to maybe release two Skyrim videos a day or maybe one a day and start a new series <laughs> because Skyrim is just one of those games where it's so big you know it could run for for years and um, so I don't know whether to start maybe releasing two a day just to try and get the series out there quicker uh, another thing I was toying with is uh, doing an Oblivion playthrough, because uh, I do have Oblivion. I, it's one of the few games I've actually got to 100% completion on Xbox, so I was quite chuffed with that. Um, but the thing is, that would be definitely a kind of blindish playthrough, because uh, there's no way that I'm going to remember um, all the stuff. Because it's quite different to Skyrim, the way that the uh, alchemy works, for example. It's not based on skills so much as uh, the equipment you actually use to mix your potions um, also skill how you how you uh, increase the skill is kind of slightly different as well uh, to level up you actually have to use kind of core skills and uh, it's a bit weird uh, I much must admit I'm, I prefer the Skyrim way of doing things a lot more but that's it we've we've arrived painlessly at where we're supposed to be there's Voltheim Towers and um, but before we do that I'm assuming it's over there somewhere so let's get wet and see if we can't find the treasure because according to the diagram it looks like it was here somewhere but I don't see it unless it's underwater or I'm being blind, which is possible. Definitely supposed to be here. Huh. Weird. Keep doing that with the map. Jeez. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see. Um, Or have I gone past it? And it's not as far. I don't see it. Let's go a little bit further back. I think we've gone too far back now. Oh, hang on. Some mud crabs. One, where's his friend? Here he is, come on, come get me. <laughs> Mud crab chitin is quite a useful ingredient, I found out recently, so um, I'll have that. But I don't see the treasure chest, that's weird. <laughs> Although, me personally, it looks like it should be. Over here. I don't see where else it could be. It 
so I don't think you can actually get up here, but we'll, we'll try it. Probably going to fail miserably, yeah. I mean, me, the way it looks from the diagram, I would have thought it would be here. Obviously it's not. Because I don't see it. I don't remember picking it up, but it could be I've already picked it up. But. Anywho, uh, one last look. Oops. Or is it on the other side? Ah, okay. Hang on. I think it might be on the other side. Yeah, that's what it is. That is an idiot. Because that needs to be over that side. So it's looking at it from the other angle. Right, okay, fair enough. So we'll do that at some point as well. For now though, let's go kill this bandit leader hopefully. And hopefully we can manage it. There's normally a guard. There's one on the bridge, you can see him. There's normally one outside as well, but I don't seem to see her. Oh, there. There I can see it. Oh crap. That's not good detected me so there goes the hello <laughs> Oof, thank you very much he's coming out with a pickaxe spray okay for now we're just going to raid because what I'm going to do obviously is then we might as well turn into a werewolf and feed all these uh, corpses. As we have to do that as well, it's a bit of a nightmare. And I'm going to try and... Uh, okay, there goes that. Hardly worth it, but anyway. We'll do it well the same. Now, there's normally guys over there as well, but I don't see them either. No, wait, this oh, is crud. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to hurt. Whoa! Yeah, that's definitely gonna hurt. Run away. I've totally screwed that up. You take a potion. What a complete mess up. <laughs> Dag it. Okay, um what I forgot to use. Right. Yeah, everyone's alerted now. Can I hit him? No. Oh, I can. Excellent. Oops. I'm going to use this rock as cover. Although, I have a horrible feeling I'm being flanked. Yeah, I yeah. am. Jeez. Okay, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh crap! Missed. Uh oh. Goodbye. Oh, no, 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 no. Body's floating off downstream now. Oh, Nordic Shield. Awesome. They look cool. Uh, we basically got the same properties as the Elven gear, so... Okay, it can now float off stream, not bothered. 
And where'd that actually go from up there? That's distant. I think we've got two arches on the bridge by the looks of it. Awesome. Sniping away from what? From the bridge from this rock. Oh man. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. I can't hit your head. Okay, crawling away. Let me try it. Ah, we need to stand up, thank you. Whoa! Ninja dude. What me on? Oh, that was a complete mess. Where's he going? Don't make me come up there. Whoa, hello. Yeah, got him. Okay, let's, um, actually, oh, no, it's just been a while since I've not played this. Um, get some healing done. Because we did spend um, some points, actually, in restoration, so it doesn't cost as much magic now. It's only a novice spell healing. Um, it's taking forever, though. I think we've got one guy left, but he's actually on the other far side. So, uh, so yeah. let's get it done. I'm just going to take everything for now. I'm not going to be too selective. We can do that later. So, I've got to remember there's a body there. Um, there's another body just near the entrance. And then, where's that other guy? Because he's on the far side. The leader's floating off downstream now, so I can't bother with him. Okay, there she is. There's that one. There's probably another guy, actually, the one who's on the, the bridge. He probably fell into the water as well. There he is. Hey, buddy. Can I get him from that distance? No, it's moved. <laughs> Can I get him from this distance? No, because he's moving away. Stop moving. Stay still. <laughs> Dude, seriously. Get with the program and die. Come on. Oops. Must admit, on controllers, sometimes this can be quite... I don't even think these arrows are reaching him. Come on. You know when you just want to do a precise little movement to left or right? It just doesn't seem to... Alright, I'm going to have to do this closer. For now, though, let's just... Uh, check to see if everyone's dead up here. Oh, come on! I mean, is that because he's too far away, or... It's just some crap. Stop moving, dude. Seriously, just stand still. <sighs> and that to me looks perfectly lined up. Oh, it was. Excellent. Oh, come, finally. Alright, I think that's everyone. Um, but we'll just go for a scoop just to check. And then obviously I'm going to werewolf it up, like I said, and uh, feed on all these corpses. Because the sooner I can get the, um, the werewolf perks fully kitted out, the sooner I can uh, cure myself of vampirism. Um, easiest way to do that is just basically continue the, the quest line, the companion's quest line. Because I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but something happens where you'll actually find the cure. You have to go to a certain place, collect a certain item. Uh, and then just keep it, and then once you want to cure yourself of vampirism, you just go back to that place, um, perform a ritual, and hey presto, no more vampirism. But um, I'd rather do it at the time. You know, I can't be bothered um, going back later on. I'd rather get to the point where I don't need vampire um, werewolfism anymore. Because there's a couple of uh, quests we can do where we have to go and find um, special items for her scene. He's kind of the... Um, the werewolf god, I guess you'd call him. Now, let's go over here. 
Oh, a bit laggy. This place is probably littered with arrows. All my fail arrows. So, I mean, I don't really need them because I've got millions, but I'll take them anyway. Right, let's go mine this iron ore, so one second. Okay, so I'm just going to um, check to see if there's anything else in here. There's always this alchemy table, which is kind of good. There's some quite useful ingredients as well. Come on. Just taking these books to sell, just because, you know, they're lying around, so they don't weigh anything either. Take a drum. No, thank you. What do we get in the chest? Some gold and a heavy ass. What the hell? Take it. Okay, let's go upstairs. There's another chest. And uh, I can I remember if there's anything up here? No. Nope. Oh, excellent. Now, if you go up that way, you can actually get to a, um, a word wall, which you're going to have to go to at some point. It gives you a really cool uh, throw, sh throw voice shout. Um, which can, you can basically use to lure uh, bad guys. The problem with it is, it's actually guarded not only by a dragon, but also by a um, a de uh, dragon priest. And on legendary difficulty, at least, it is kind of difficult. Uh, I've tried it a few times trying to take them down uh, without much success. And I've seen quite a lot of videos. Um, there's one guy called Major Slack who basically took down the priestess in about 30 seconds, I think it was. Uh, I tried that on Legendary and uh, it just didn't work for me. So, um, what have we got in here? Okay, so that's the place raided. Um, so, all that's left really. Is we need to wolf it up, I guess. So, hold on one second. I'm going to do this as quickly as I can because uh, I know times are ticking. So, um, do we have to wait a day? Have we already used it? Oh no, there we go, right. Right, this is better than me. <laughs> okay, so we're in beast form, so let's uh, feed. So the leader went into the river, which is a bit of a shame, so we can't feed on him. There's no more bodies that way, so uh, that's good. There's one on the... Oh, there's one down there as well. There we go. We can get him. And... Uh, that must have been the one that was on the tower. So there he is. Whoops! Can't feed. Oh, we can get to the leader. Excellent. So, let's do that. Now, the treasure is probably somewhere around here, I would have thought. Or maybe it's on the other... There it is. Excellent. So, the treasure's here now. You can see it there. Just on... The problem is there's a werewolf. I can't actually open it, which is a bit of a nightmare. But there you go. So that's that, so we need to go collect that once we're back in human form. Now there's another bad guy here. Excellent. And the other one was somewhere around here, I think behind these rocks. These, these were the ones who tried to flank me. Yeah, here he is. Alrighty. So, have we got any perks we can spend? I don't think we have. Oh yeah, we do, we have one. So again, it's not really bothered where, where I'm putting it, so I'm not too bothered about the werewolf form. For me, it's just too clunky. Um, but let's change back. So I'm going to wait three hours. Actually, four. There we go. Alright, and uh, let's go grab the treasure.
Uh, which is somewhere over here. There it is. Excellent. Let's see what we got. Wow. Cool. Heavenly War Axe. Amethyst. Black Soul Gem. Perfect. Shame we didn't get this before killing all these silver hands. Awesome. Alright then, guys. Uh, that's been uh, this video. Let's just suit up. Okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's hardcore. Uh, let's suit him up. Um, so I've got the that one. Oops. Dwarven arrows. Kind of annoying. You have to remember to activate the arrows as well. But there you go. Uh, and I can get alarm and later go boots. Alrighty. Uh, what I'm going to do? I'm going to just make my way back to White Run um, because we are kind of loaded to the hilt. Uh, 505. Actually, there was a body, wasn't there? The archer. Let's see. Uh, oops, some lavender there as well. We need that. Um, there wasn't one of the guy thing is over here, is it? There it is. Yeah, so I'm going to basically uh, make my way back to White Run. Can we hand. Have we got space for that? Yeah, 522, 525. So yeah, that's basically the plan now. I'm going to make my way back. I'm going to sell. I'm going to hit up the traders, but it's quite boring to watch. So you know, I'm not going to record it. I'll do it off camera. Um, hit up the traders. Get rid of uh, some inventory space. And um, I'll catch you in the next episode. For now, though, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Take care, and don't forget to let me know what kind of games you'd like me to play next. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.